Hello coaches, this is Brian McKenzie with FCA Football. Today I'd like you to ask yourself a question. Now there's a lot of questions you could ask that will make you be a great football coach. Uh, one of those questions is why? Why do I coach? What's my purpose in coaching? And when you understand your purpose in coaching, it leads to another question, then how do I coach? Do I coach with excellence and, and passion? Do I coach to build up or tear down? Do I coach every player as if they're the best player on the team with the same passion? Uh, those are important questions, but they're not the most important question. There's another question that's foundational to the, to the why and the how question, and that's the who question. Who are you? What's your identity? Let me make a true statement and then explain to you what I mean. What you do is not who you are, although who you are has a tremendous impact on what you do. You see, coach, the world, and especially the football world, will tell you you're a football coach. That's your identity. And what you do as far as wins and losses on the field, your success there, that defines who you are. Coach, that's a lie. The world will tell you that you need a coach to gain the favor of others and to gain the favor of God. Coach, that's a lie. The world will tell you that what you do is who you are. That's a lie. Don't buy that lie. Don't believe that lie. See, the Bible teaches the exact opposite. The Bible teaches that what you do is not who you are, although who you are has a tremendous impact on what you do. So who are you? Well, if you're a man who is trusting the Lord Jesus Christ for forgiveness of sin and to make you right with God and make him the Lord of your life, then the Bible says you're a new creation. You're brand new. In fact, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone. Behold, all things become new. And as a new creation in Christ, if you're in Christ, it says that you're right with God. You're forgiven. You're set apart. You're holy. God, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of you. You've been given a new heart, a new nature, which can honor God and desires to honor God. That's who you are. Coach, the Bible teaches that what you do is not who you are. Although who you are, that new creation has a tremendous impact on what you do. Everything you do as a coach. So coach, don't believe what the world says. Believe what God says about who you are. And coach from that vantage point. Coach from a place of favor. Don't coach for favor. So coach, as you coach this week, remember who you are in Christ. A new creation. A man after God's own heart. And allow that to impact all, the, all that you coach and the way that you coach to reach the heart of your athletes for the glory of God.